Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bro. <laughs> Listen, this is not my song. I don't know this song, and I've never even played this song. But uh, you know, every time I will play the guitar, that's when I hear this E string. If the E string is tuned with that, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I also I'm like, I love that as well. Yeah. Man. You know, like in the, it's like in the. In the Indian traditions, they they in the folk or in the, they have always this. Uh, Use this kind of, and oh, they, they do yeah. kind of yeah. the six eight as well as that. Uh...
Ah. Uh, Gilardo, where were you born, man? Where? In uh, Italy, in uh, Milan. And I uh, grew up a little bit in Milan, a bit in the south of Italy as well. Yeah. Wow. You, you're from here, you're from Joburg. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. South Africa. South Africa. And, um, you know, I mean, when we, we, when we grew up, all the clothes, all the, you know, branded clothes that we, you know, the designer clothes, they were coming from Italy. Yeah. It's they're, a home of fashion. They're famous for that. I mean, uh, Milan actually is the capital for fashion, so they have lots of, uh, they used to have, now they, they're not as much anymore, but they used to have lots of uh, factory where they made clothes there, and all these famous designer, yeah, yeah, they live there. So, but I see you're not wearing you're not wearing Louis Vuitton. I'm so. not I'm not very stylish. <laughs> I'm an exception. <laughs> so, so, so it, it, it is part of the culture um, of you know. I, I'm I'm always interested in how did that um, culture of fashion and style influence the whole world because you know. Do you know? Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a, he had a really rich. We have like good artisans in Italy, like people were good making stuff. So yeah. they make shoes, they make clothes. I think it comes from that culture of making. You know, they were good artisans there, but that's very shifting now. Now there are more the names that they leave on, either than actually new designer. There isn't really a new scene, as far as I know. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not a, a big fashion uh, uh, head. You know, some people that are really into fashion, but uh, you do find beautiful clothes there, definitely, you know. How was it to grow up there, you know, um, I mean, like for you to just, where do you meet music, like, you know, for the first time, you know, like, uh, you decide that this is what I want, this is what I want to do. I, you know, it's, I, it's, for me, it's always been, I always knew that that's what I wanted. It's really weird since I was a child, uh, you know, in my school, we, we were lucky they were giving us you know, for every children, you, you will get, you could choose an instrument in, a, oh, in, a, in middle school and you could do like group classes with that instrument for free, you know, given by the school. So that was, that was actually very fortunate for me because I, at the age of 10, I picked up the guitar and then I was like, oh, I love this. And I, I wanted to play rock, really. That's oh, what I wanted yeah. to do. I liked, uh, you know, Led Zeppelin. I liked blues, you know, Muddy Water. I liked... You know, I, I wanted to play that stuff. When I was Do, can you still play that? Blues, uh, I mean, yeah.
Hey, you chose hey. you chose another key. Hey, I had you play on A. I oh, yeah. Never, I've never played on the key A in the longest time. Oh really? Like, I always I just I just went out and didn't even think about it. Like, <laughs> like the keys that we uh, so in, much in, pop, in, uh, in most of popular songs and culture and jazz and so forth, they're in B flat, G, yeah. uh, you know, F, E flat and all that. But A, when someone says the the, the song is the key of B yeah. and A. I, you know, you know, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> I, I yeah. mean, blues, classic blues is more like that's in the E. Yeah. Really, they play a lot because of the open because strings. of the guitar. Yeah, yeah. But then A, I, I think is a nice key. But yeah, B flat. I mean, in that case B flat. It'll be the same almost for us. Um, but yeah, it sounds amazing. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, hey. I've never right. played on E, man, you know, but yeah, listen, I'm having fun with you. So now I want to understand something. Then 10 or 10, and did you grow up uh, having bands, you know, like that you played with when you were at the teenage level? Yeah, I played in lots of bands. Uh, I started with rock, as I said, and yeah. I wanted to sing, actually, but I'm a terrible singer. So sh sh soon I just stuck to the guitar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would say there, I, 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 lots of rock bands when I was a kid and then uh, I got more into jazz and, you know, the scene in Milan is there is a lot of musicians um, and you end up also playing lots of folk, Italian, I end up playing lots of Italian folk and, uh, you know, lots of different kind of styles and, um, but really like for me the biggest learning has been the UK because the UK that's where I actually discover South African music and I discover West African music. Oh, as in well. the UK? In the UK. When, when did you go to UK? In 2000. So oh. it's been a long time I've been there. I was really young. I was saying like in my 20, I was 20 years old. Yeah. So it was like, I, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was great. I discovered uh, all this so many different, and the Indian classical tradition actually, that is the things I got majorly into it for a long time. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I couldn't keep still. It's like you, you know, you seem to want to absorb so much yes. from everywhere, you know. Yeah. And it's like music is like that, isn't it? You become thirsty of knowledge. So when you were in Italy, you did not know of South African music? Only when you were in UK? I, I knew more like uh, a little bit of Genawa stuff. I've heard quite a lot because there is a lot of Moroccan musicians living in Milan and you know, so I was more uh, familiar with kind of Arabic and Ganawa stuff. And, okay. But no, I didn't know much about South African music or, or West African music, which has also been a big influence for me, like Ali Farcature or Tumani Diabate, all these guys, you know, Malian musicians. Yes. Amazing, do those you, guys. Do, do you check something from Mali? I love Mali, I love Mali, oh. I love Mali the, uh, uh, the Kora players. Yeah, there, man. man. Oh. I mean, the only things kind of I. Uh, So the kind of uh, this, those yeah. kind of chords and sound and sonority and uh, yeah, and I'm playing quite a lot with the chora player in the UK. Uh, is he from Mali? He's from actually Senegal. He's from Senegal. Yeah. No, I must come there, guys, and do a trio with you. Yeah, man, you will you know? love this guy as well. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. He's, uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. No, no, no. I love I love that kind of music, you know. Uh, but you know, it has to do with age because when you are young. You want to play some technical stuff, you know, like, uh, you know, technical stuff. And then when you grow, it, it, you appreciate just the soul of the music, mm. you know. Um, but that stuff is technical, man. Yeah. You listen to this chorus player, this, oh, no. they, they are ripping. They are just like, you know. Technical with soul for me, yeah. that is something. But if someone is just playing technical I, without soul, uh, if it doesn't move my heart, it must be technical and be able to move my heart, you mm. know, touch the song. So now, when you hear South African music, what song did, what was the first song that you heard? When I heard South African music? Yeah, uh, in well, London. I mean, uh, Yuma Sakela, I heard like 
I mean, actually, Yuma Sakela is a great someone I used to have listen even earlier on. Uh, some of his stuff, um, some of his quite early 70s albums. And, uh, and uh, I mean, also the songs, obviously, Miriam Makeba, all uh, her stuff. But I actually met some musicians in London and they should start showing me a little bit more about all kind of the gospel tradition as well in South Africa, yeah. which is big training for most musicians here. They come from the church and Absolutely. They have their gospel down. And I loved the, and, and then I met Gregory, you know, the show that you can oh, see, yeah. when, Makoma. When did you meet Greg? That was in 2012, you know, and I was, uh, I replaced a, a musician, an Indian classical musician in another show where he was dancing together with Chanel Willock, which is also, you know, Chanel, amazing dancer. And then, uh, you know, he heard me doing all the loop stuff, you know, because I use loop stations and, and he was like, oh yeah, you can, you know, I played a bit of Afro-Cuban stuff and all that. Uh, and he was like really, he was really into it. And he just called me, okay, do you want to come and play my next show? And I was like, yeah, great. And then the, that's where I met really like, some of singers from here and they really show me the traditions and you know complete you know this guy yeah. amazing singers and and they really know about harmony as well like the way that the whole harmony you yes. know, moves these guys are great amazing so it's, it's you've been doing all uh, uh, i mean the show that you've been done of greg that, that you have done is um exit exist yeah nothing else with Gregory, yeah. where well, we did this other show, where well, that's where I met him, which was called, uh, what was it called? Uh, uh, Southern Bound Comfort. It was CD Labby, was another choreographer as well. But yeah, mainly Exit X has been going for 10 years now. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. I, I watched so, it for some couple of times. Yeah. There's this song that you play, Umakom. Yeah. yeah. Can you play that? Can you yeah. change that? Ah, which key is it? It's A. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Okay, cool. So it's like A, yeah. D to E. Yeah, no, that's fine.
So now the the the, the recipe of this uh, playing this kind of thing is a uh, uh, double stop. We call it them double stop. This. So now, uh, yeah, yeah. So now you know that when you are. So this is this this comes from the. A, A here and then and then and then we have this A here. So now and also they use a uh, uh, we use a uh, lot of the six. So yeah, a uh, lot of the six like uh, this. Yeah, yeah. So no, that's that's the recipe. You should show <laughs> me some uh, mascandi stuff. So oh. Maskanda is something else, you know, because it has to do with the tuning, you know. Oh yeah. You have to tune. Um, oh, they tune the guitar differently. Yeah. Ah, I don't know that. How do they tune it? They tune a D down. Oh, like a drop D. Yeah, the drop so D. So like. A... Uh, no, no, no. The, uh, the E, the high D. Ah, oh. not the, not the, not the bottom string. Yes. This action is, is too far from the fretboard, man. It's not nice. Because I mean, like, this guitar just picked it up now. So it's like... Yeah, this is very hard. Yeah, they're not set up. Yes, guitar. yeah. They need to be set up. Yeah, they need to be set up. They all a little bit old. I'm struggling when I'm playing. I'm like, shit. They do sound good, though. <sighs> so, so they put a drop with D here. Yeah, yes. So now that all, now that already it, it uh, uh, the tonality of it is like a flat seven, it's like some blue notes, you know, the tonality. There's a counter line, so there's a counter line like uh, you know God, the, bass, yeah, the, the bass is playing something oh, else. dominant. The fingering is, is, uh, is another. Uh, well, on the D string. Yeah, G, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got the octave by doing. Yeah. yeah. So let's do it. Yeah. And now, what is important? It is. Um, it is. Um, it is. Uh, It's a, it's a, it's an introduction. Okay. So the song does it start with the in, with, with that introduction. So um, that introduction is to just um, it's an expression of uh, where they come from. It defines the cultural clan. It is used to for 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 many things to praise uh, the cultural clan and. Um, Others they used it to flirt with the woman. So <laughs> this guy he knows that when he plays this intro, um, he will seduce. Yeah, <laughs> he will know that uh, this is this is who. Because now, uh, this kind of music it varies from um, from regions. So in the region you have like um, uh, you have South Coast, you have North Coast. So Maskanda differs from. From that, so even the uh, you know the introduction. Ah, 
Beautiful. So it varies. This one, it is uh, Amahuwa, is the one that calls the kings when uh, you're with the kings. You know, I will give you the names of the cats who who do that. Uh, but most of uh, the guys, they do like a flat, one flat seven. One flat seven kind of a thing. Uh, Major chords moving away. From yes, the so 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 it's it's one and flat and seven. Flat seven. That's yeah. that's that's all. But if you want to check this thing, it's on. It's, it's tuned. In. So it's basically like two chords like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which key which key are you playing on? Whichever key you want. Uh, you know, let's play on. Uh, I'm just gonna play some. Is it six eight still? No. Too good to check. Is this a this is for four? Yeah. yeah. Is, is, but uh, what is the it, most important is the uh, rhythm. The rhythm. So if you listen to Mfazo Mnyama, mm. uh, Mnyama and you know, the Wusim Shongo, that is maybe it's going to be easy on your ear, Wusim Shongo. But Mfazo Mnyama, yeah, is the, is the one, man. Yeah. It's the king. Uh, there are so many uh, Puzi Kimis, you know, Puzi Shugela, who was the innovator of this, you know. And um, so it's it's, kinda, it's like. Um, I can't teach you now and then you learn it now. It's, I know, it's, I know. It's a, it's a language, you know, that you speak. Just like um, blues, it has a flat three and flat seven. You know, the, the most important thing is to get the formula, the formula right, you know. So Maskanda as well, it has that kind of a tuning that is special. And like, luckily enough, so that I don't have to be talking that much, I end up writing a book. Uh, about this. About this, so that... You know, you, do you, you explain know. technically what's happening yes. as well? Uh, so now, what, what guitar brand? Do you play? I mean, like, what makes you to choose? I mean, look at this guitar in here. What There's makes so you to many. choose? <laughs> what makes you to choose? Uh, uh, you know, this the Larry V. Yeah. I mean, Larry V is the. I like uh, the brightness of the of the, especially of the. They don't have a very big sound. Yeah. It's like this. The this Gibson. They have a much louder sound. Yeah. Oh, I see. But the but Larry V. Taylor. Taylor and Larry V. I think this guitar, the Taylor. Uh, it's got a really nice uh, uh, top end. I like their top end, you know? So to play lines, especially I used to... I used to play a lot with this guitar. Like Indian stuff. Yeah.
you have different scale, different ragas that you can use. But one of the things I like about this guitar is that they go very nice on the top end, you know? Oh, this is... What made you to be interested in um, Indian music? Uh, again, is is uh, UK. Yeah? There is uh, this massive Indian community there, and uh, I met some amazing musicians. They play sitar, and and I was like, I want to be able to do this stuff on the guitar. Is that like, why not? You know, and then I discovered this instrument called sarod, which is a kind of a fretless guitar, and the right hand is very similar to the gypsy jazz kind of right hand guitarist. And I kind of start learning all that kind of right hand. To be honest, the nylon strings are better for this because they are less noisy. When you do like, a, when you do all these glides here, they make lots of noise no? on metal strings. When you have nylon strings, it's very smooth. No? And, and, and I wanna, I wanna, oh, I wanna ask this. You know, this is so much interesting. You know, so you in Italy, what do you have? What is the culture music like? They have like, uh, I mean, now it's all pop, really, like everywhere else in the world. But uh, the, the the traditional music, I think that it's very interesting is the southern Italian. My family is originally from the south, actually, and they have. Uh, We have this uh, I was here. Oh, I can't remember it now. <laughs> it's been a long time I haven't played this stuff. Da, 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 da. And then it goes into this Napolitan scale. Yeah? <laughs> what, what, what is the name of the scale? That's this the scale. is, they call it the Napolitan scale. It's like a typical uh, in Napolitan music from Napoli. They use this kind of like... A, the, it's more almost like a Lydian scale but with a minor third. But then they use both thirds, so they go also into normal major. To kind of those kind of like normal. Uh, and then going to the other side, they got more like pizzica, which are more songs, and they're all in 6 8. It's a so they got all these kind of uh, grooves. Um, so that's the kind of traditional music from the south. Then you have, or some ideas, quite obviously, there are different styles. In the north, it's more, it's not as interesting. It's more like singer songwriting kind of thing. Okay. You, you no, man, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying playing and okay. chatting with you, man. No, we're going to play some more. I, I, I like to actually, let's do a little bit of jamming. And then just yeah. before I leave, I like to film you a little bit doing some Mascandi stuff and some yeah. different traditional, just for me to learn to have yeah. something. I'm coming, I'm coming. I, I, that guy that side is uh, busy. So because remember I still run the shop. I yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So what is a one for five? Hey, because there's a major one for five and there's a minor, minor one, one for five. five. <laughs> this is the minor one. It's oh, like yeah. the Afro-Cuban uh, style, isn't it? Yeah. Like it all comes from Tumbao, isn't yeah. it? Boom.
what is what is it? What is it? What, what is it? What is it? What is it playing? You playing what? And um, what the Montuno? It's like a dominant. Oh so, yeah. So, One for five for one for five for one. The five is dominant. Major. Oh. So minor, major, minor, 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 major. So you, that's therefore this. Anticipated. It's killing me, man. Ah, it's it's they are hard, eh? they are hard, these guitars. Yeah. Because all of, is they all of them? Eh? They, they all keep quiet. Oh, look at this action. <laughs> yeah. I can put a finger underneath yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, they're all pretty high. Yeah. So, but now, what guitar? It sounds gorgeous, this guitar, though. It's got a massive sound, eh? Hey, man, but I'm struggling here. Struggling is hard. Look, it's far from. I wish. <laughs> what gauge do you use? I use 12. Uh, yeah, me too. 12 in electric, I use 11. Oh. So even hard gauge on the electric as well, I like it. And then on the classical, I use hard tension as well. Okay. What so is the hard tension? It's like in the in nylon strings, you have different gauge. So you go like, uh, it's more like the tension of the string. So you uh, go hard tension, medium and soft. Okay. And then you go super hard where they're using flamenco, for instance. They use really hard tension strings, so they sound, they, they have more sound. Flamenco is from where? It's from from Spain. Spain. Yeah. That's a completely different word. I know the rhythms, uh, but they I, use their fingers. I want to learn this. They use their, their nails, and they do all this like, a, all with the nails. It technically, it's incredible music. But I know the rhythms, like the most common is the buleria, which is like a... So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. It's in 12. can't really play it. They actually play with their fingers. But I know the rhythms. Yeah. And the kind of the scales they use. They use this kind of this kind of scale, no? It's all this um what? what's it in the scale? It's a, it's kind of like a, a, let's say now we are in A. So this is kind of a, a D minor harmonic minor. Okay. But over A. So it's a kind of, uh, it's almost like the Arabic scale. I don't know if you know this case. So it's root, flat second, major third, fourth, fifth, minor six, minor seven, and root. They, they use, so lots of flamenco comes from this kind of. So it's like a dominant flat nine chord. No? You, you did some, 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 some great things, man. I mean, like, uh, um, uh, you know. That's it. Do, why do they use um, uh, this, this chord? Why? Yeah. It's just part of the sound, really. I think it's very influenced by Arabic music, flamenco. No? It's got lots of uh, 
lots of connection with the, the way they sing as well. This guitar man is fucking... It's killing you. It's, it's killing, killing you. <laughs> it's killing me. Change it, man. You got yeah. some... So now our music is uh, based on 145. Simple 145. Uh, one, one measure and then... Uh, and then and then four measure and then five five uh, is one over five and then and then and then five dominant. Ah, so you do one over five, five dominant. Yeah, yeah, and, then to, yeah. and back to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you know. Uh, and then uh, and then. Yeah, so I mean, like, that's the standard uh, Marabi kind of a thing, uh, you know. But but the strumming, but the strumming is a is a yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We prepared to put this uh, this dominant here. I mean this this flat seven here. Yeah. The B flat is it B flat right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back in the day, in the in the in the in the forties and the fifties, that's how guitar it, it was it was, it was played. Yeah, it was, it was played, you know. Um, and then there was one man. Uh, 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 so there was one man, General Duse. He just advanced the harmony of you know just playing a. a uh, well, what is the style called? It is called African jazz. You African know. jazz. Yeah, that's call it uh, Marabi. Marabi. Yeah. I saw you playing with uh, an older guy. This yes. kind of uh, you yeah. were doing quite a lot of these yeah. kind of songs. Yeah. 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 I saw some videos. Yeah. So now uh, that mainly comes from that generation, you know, and uh, there is what is called. So now uh, in the nineteen fifties, um, there was Quela. Quella as well, it was played like this. Uh, 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 and with all these glides. Slide is everything. They used to call it uh, that slide. That, that, that slide. So, so, so that 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 strumming, they they call it uvamba, you know. Uvamba. Yes. Uvamba. So now it's, it's like in it's, it's South Africa, there's so many music styles, you know, because there's maskanda. Even in maskanda, there are sub styles in that maskanda, and then there's mpakanga, you know. So now you see this one four five that we're playing, this simple pro pro progression. It is now. Uh, being more expressive, just like there was swing and then there was bebop and then there was hard bop. So now this was the hard one where by you play strum you strum hard like in terms of uh, articulation, you know. Uh, So, so it's not. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not round. Singing. It's more like yeah, it's it, straight. It, yeah, it's more straight up, you know, because that music became a pop of the 1970s. So, uh, yeah. The recipe of this thing is ah. the double stops. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the double stop. Uh, All the thirds kind of. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. So now, so now for example, I mean, like, uh, I will take uh, this scale. Uh, yeah, so now this is the D uh, scale. Uh, No, no. Yeah, so it's built out of that thing because now when you go, you, you, you can do anything from here. Uh, 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 if you want to play like, uh, for example, Yeah, and then, and then you play the next chord that is G. Um, so now, if you're in the scale, then you play uh, the G. And then the next chord is A. And then you can play... Uh, so, and then D. And then G. Uh, yeah, so... Let, let's play that over, over those changes because it's, it's going to be fine, you know. So, 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 these are this, what is it called? So many. What is it called? This, this style? is called Umpatanga. Umpatanga. Yes. Is it Tosa style? No, no, no. It's, a, it's a, you know, um, it was made by different people uh, from... Have a Shangani from, kind of thing? No, no. Uh, from the north, uh, from, you know, people who they were the innovators. They were coming from different cultural groups. You know, others were coming from KwaZulu Natal, others coming from uh, the north. Um, you know, um, there were miners, others there were domestic workers, and then they gathered during their lunch break. They would play the guitars, and then one of the guys recorded them. And then the music started being uh, popular. Developing you know, the more innovators, more. the Max Mangwani, and so forth. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, ah. so it, it, it was not, uh, so it yeah. changed because that strumming, it comes from a uh, swing. It comes from the people like uh, uh, the, 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 the Freddie Green. Yeah, they, they took all the jazzy yeah. kind of, the jazzy strumming and the kind of swing thing. Yeah, 
you know. But I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna, I wanna go now. I, I,